So let's talk about how the headlines work uh, when you create a dynamic search ad group. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I think the bigger, the biggest deal here is that they pick your keywords the, or they pick the searches you show up on for you based on the pages you punch in there. But the other thing they're doing from those pages is they're generating the headlines of your search ads um, based on the data on those pages. That's how I understand it works, Chris. Are there some more nuances? Like, do we have any control? Why don't you walk us through that? Yeah, uh, the fact is, I mean, if you're if you're jumping down the the dynamic search ad arena, I don't know what. To, all right, I lost it there. My you can call it a bandwagon. We're, I'm, I'm bandwagon. starting the bandwagon. Okay, bandwagon. Um, I'm starting the bandwagon. Like six years into this show, 333 yeah. episodes in, <laughs> eight years in my career, I'm I'm inspired based on Performance Max and how this is kind yeah. of a search centric, more control, more data. Performance yeah. max. I'm I'm loving it. So let's start the bandwagon. Yeah. If if you're on that bandwagon, you are not welcome on that bandwagon. If you want finite control of your your messaging, there's no pinning of headlines. It's literally not even a blank. It just says dynamically inserted. Dynamically. It says something created. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've dynamically here, created. Chris, dynamically like that. dynamically generated headline. That's it. Yeah. It's like yeah. you don't even get a choice. It's like, hey, we got this. You get the descriptions, which are, they're great. More characters. You know? Yeah. You got lots of stuff you can say, and people are definitely going to not read that. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, don't go after yeah. something like this if, you, if you're looking for finite control of messaging. They're 100% dynamic. You get no control what's what's said in these headlines. Um, that's it. Yeah, I mean, a cool combination here would be if they gave us the dynamic ad group option where you can punch in a page URL and they'll create the searches. I don't want to call them keywords because you don't see keywords, but they they choose the searches you show up on along with a full-blown responsive search ad where you have 15 headlines uh, that are under your control and four descriptions. That would be pretty cool. But in this case, the headlines are not under your control. They're generated from the website content and it looks like primarily the page titles on your yeah. on your pages on your website yeah. that you're using yeah i'll tell you what if um the biggest thing that i see and, and a lot of people do this on your website you know you set up a, a new wordpress website you know and you create a template and your template begins with company name city and then maybe some kind of call us now. You know, that's your template for every page title. And then at the very end of that, it has like roofing services. You mm -hmm. know, that's the wrong way to do things if you're going to be running a uh, a, a dynamic search campaign or ad group, um, because it's going to be using those page titles to generate these headlines. And the last thing you want to do on all of your headlines is just say your company name over and over again, or just say you know just city name plus roofers, you know, I mean, there's nothing creative there. So or, or just do the not... word contact or just the word home. Oh yeah. Home. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine an ad that says homepage for, you know, Cincinnati. No, just roofers. home. That, that's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering like how much, uh, if someone d really does have a bad website in the sense they haven't developed their page titles and they punch in a, a URL here, I'm wondering to what extent Google would be able to go beyond the page title. Um, I, I would know. think a little bit, but um, I guess I don't want to try it because I want to only do it yeah. with websites that have good page titles. Yeah. So if you're going to use this, have good page headlines, good titles, make sure they're clear, not your company name, be descriptive, um, or your dynamic headlines will be very bland, boring, um, unappealing.